right. Um, I've been in London for six years now. Um, I first came here to do an undergraduate degree in social anthropology, um, and I've been working in theatre and multidisciplinary art since then. I mostly produce. Um, and I'm currently at Goldsmith College doing an MA in Art Administration and Cultural Policy. Um, and my project partner, Han Ting, is not here today. I'll explain why later. She, as far as I know, has been in London for about two years now. She's a fine arts student at Central St. Martin's. And she has red hair. And the question she finds hardest to answer is what sort of art do you do? So the reason she isn't here um, is extremely linked to the project that we're doing. The project we're doing is called Ren Si, which um, in Chinese words, Ren means person or human, Si means um, print um, or mark or tracing, so it actually means tracing of human life. Of a human life. Um, and we decided that we were not going to meet up at all over the course of the project until uh, we got together to prepare for the exhibition that opens on 31st May. And what Renzi entails is actually um, an ongoing documentation of our daily lives as we choose to curate it online. We're not allowed to initiate conversation and, and meetings with each other, but we follow each other's lives. Um, on Facebook. Um, we've both set up blogs where everyone can access what we do and we're supposed to post at least one entry a day, although some days we left um, because we're too tired and etc. Um, and we also sort of follow each other more consistently or passively um, via an iPhone application called Path, P-A-T-H where you can share what you're listening to, um, the places you're at, so you can check in, kind of like Foursquare. Um, you can share thoughts and it's very, it's quite intrusive because we also share the, the time we go to bed and the time we wake up. Um, and we share photos and everything, but we don't really interact. At most, we, we like each other's posts or we put a smiley face or a sad face um, and things like that. So what we're really trying to explore is kind of long distance friendship and how it unfolds or develops over the internet without genuine interaction but at the same time it's also about how as individuals we leave trails online and across the places that we go to um, and how we choose to curate that to people around us or people who are able to access our blog. So that's why you don't see her here. Um, yeah.